Hey guys, I just realized I never introduced this video. So, here I am with Sassy, letting you all know what's going on. So, in this video, I am going to be just going through what I'm doing this summer to get ready for the school year. This is only like parts because I'm not good at blogging every little thing. So, hope you all enjoy. There will be more parts because we still have a month left this summer. But, I hope you all enjoy and here we go. So today's project is getting my baskets numbered and organized. So I bought all these, let me show you. I think I bought 30 of them at Goodwill for a dollar each, which I realized they do sell at the Dollar Tree for that much, but whatever. So I went through and I've kind of labeled them or put them in order because they were already numbered. Let me show you. Oh gosh. They're already numbered like that. So I put them in order from one to, I think it was 21. And there was only like one number missing. So I just put my empty ones over here and I'm writing the numbers on these. I wanna try to stick with blue and green, but I have red too. So I'll probably put them in the end in case I do have more than, I think it's 23, 24 kids. Yes, and then the pink one, I'm not gonna number. This will be mine unless I absolutely need it because I do not want anybody fighting over colors when we'll just have these two basic colors and maybe three so that is what i'm doing right now and i will just keep you updated it's kind of boring so you might not want to just sit here and watch this process this basket the teacher left their name right here so i saw something on um google that was like take a dry erase marker and mark through it and then wipe it off and i tried alcohol first it didn't work so i done that and it actually worked i mean you can see a little bit but it's better than having the full name on there back in order i did have to use the red ones to go to 29 hopefully i won't have more than 30 kids because i have the pink if i need to but i doubt we will with everything going on but i realized i never explained what i wanted to use these for plan on using these have them buy them by their desk and to put their supplies in so like their own caddies i guess they'll have their notebooks their um pencil pouches their crown boxes everything in them beside their desk like on the ground because i think that will be the easiest way to keep up with things and i'm really glad i bought these i was going to use them as book um book bags book, book something like to keep their library books in but i think their library books can still go in here with everything else so i'm really happy about that and i just wrote my last name on the end in case I could lose any of them or anything. I don't know. But on to the next project. The little things. I thought I'd make my um, learning target like posters, I guess is what you call them. Like what I'm going to post on the board. So I just created my header. And then I have these um, kind of like outlines for each subject. So I have this. And I haven't decided if I'm like going to cut a hole or something. I know these are going to go on my either bulletin board or whiteboard and then I'm gonna have the actual I can statement to velcro tape something in the center there okay so today on Miss Wells classrooms Instagram I saw her make these cute um, job like tags to put on a um, bulletin board and I thought they're so cute so I created my own cuz she didn't put them on TPT or she didn't say anything about it so I just went through and created my own and I think they're turning out so cute and I'm just gonna write what the job is so like it might say line leader and i'm gonna some put some type of visual and i don't want it to be like a um clipboard i just want it to be like black and white um, image right there so i'll show you when they're done okay so here they are done what i plan on doing with this is putting some kind of um paper behind it when i cut it out and then here is line leader door holder all the jobs at the beginning of the year i only plan on having like three or four jobs, the probably the top three or four. And then throughout the year, kind of bringing in the others as my kids get familiar with the school setting. And for each of these pictures, like if you want to create them yourself, I just typed in black and white and then like book, pencil, lunch bag, um, chair. And then for these, I typed in literally teacher's assistant and substitute. And so yeah, here they're done. I'm really proud of them. Okay, so I have a new project going on today. So I am actually going to start working with my uh, rainbow photo keepers. So I, let me 
flip you around so I can show you. So I recently found this intervention kit from Simply Kidner. She has a website and a um, TBT store, so I will link one or the other below. So this is originally $45, but is on sale for $15. And then I had a $5 off for um, the 4th of July, like a little coupon. So I only got this for $10. And it comes with, I believe, 18 different packs. I'm not sure what they're called. But for each individual photo keeper. It comes with 18 of those. And this only holds 16 so right now I'm just going through and seeing which ones I just want to use. Which, that is kind of hard because I don't know my kids yet. I don't know what they need help on, what they're going to pick on, pick up easier on. So right now I'm just kind of get, grabbing what will be useful towards the beginning of the year. And I'm going to save, I might even print out the other two, it might be three or four extra ones. And we can replace those in and out throughout the year. When, when needed, I can even keep half of these and do something else with the other half. We'll see. But right now, that is what I'm doing. And I will update you when I pick my 16 and get them printed out. I got the labels printed out on my um, sticker label paper that's free from FedEx. I messed up cards up there and it's supposed to be down here. But I think I'll be able to cut it and when I put it on there, it'll be fine. But I don't have cardstock and I wanted everything that would be in them to be cardstock. I could do white paper and laminate. Laminate it. Yeah, that's the right word. <laughs> laminate it, but I feel like cardstock would be the cheaper route because the laminate pages are so expensive. They're not, I mean, they're more expensive than cardstock. So I think I'm going to get cardstock tomorrow at Walmart. So hopefully the next clip will be me actually being able to print these out and put them in the tubs. Just kidding, I lied. So while I'm waiting for cardstock today, I am gonna get started on my little pencil things, which I'm gonna show you in a second. So I'm gonna run out to the building and grab um, pencil things, I meant crowns. I'm gonna go out and grab my boxes of crowns and bring them in. And show you what I'm planning to do with that. Here is an update of the building my stuff stops those tubs aren't mine those right there and ford except for that red thing and that christmas uk thing obviously but it is a mess and because we've been redoing my house i haven't been able to bring everything in and organize it so it's just gonna be like this until i get ready to go to school so i brought the crowns in and this is what i plan on putting them in these little crown boxes they just snap open like this and a 24 pack of crowns fits perfectly in here. I tried to end the store just to um, verify because I've seen teachers all over the internet use these on Instagram and Facebook pages. So I got 18 of those. Oh, I bought every single one in the store. And if I have more than 18 students, I'm probably going to have to go back and get more. And then I bought these four cute um, bins for books. I don't know when I'll use them, but I bought one of each color because I thought they were cute. And I also bought a chalk um, writer. A chalk writer. A chalk writer yeah that's what's called <laughs> a like a marker for this chalk um to write on this board i have for the first day of school and for different holidays for kids to take pictures with and then i got three packs of these um highlight readers reading highlights for the students when we start working with reading so now i'm going to show you these crowns in here and i'm kind of at a like i'm kind of stuck on what to do because Crazy 8, Crazy 8, that's definitely a game. The Crazy Art Crowns are definitely not my favorite. Maybe I'm just picky. But they're not my favorite. But I want to go ahead and have the crowns in here before school starts. Instead of waiting and while, like that first day after they bring their supplies, me having to do this that night. I'd rather go ahead and have it done. So I guess I'm going to use all my Crayola and then whatever I can't, whatever Crayolas I don't have. We'll use the crazy art, but we'll see how this goes. I'll show you this one pack in here in a second. Okay, so I set you up right there. I know you can't see me at all, but you can see these. So here is the little box, bin, whatever you want to call it. Pack of crowns, and they go... Oh, there's a broken crown in there. I mean, it's new. You can see it's new, but it's broken. I'll have to look at that, but here is... oh. I'm making a mess. And you can see 
how they fit perfectly in there. Great. And also, I plan on um, getting using my Cricut to like do white numbers when I figure out their numbers. I'm not going to do that until I get my um, roster because of the colors. I don't want to give every girl have pink and I run out of pinks and I have to give a girl blue and all the boys have blue and there's a big thing. I want to give all the girls one color, all the boys one color and I have a couple red. So, you know, boys might get blue and red. Girls might get pink and a navy. I don't know, but we're going to do the same colors so there's no arguing. <laughs> so I changed my mind because I don't have enough Crowless and because also this part right here are either used or it's a 32, oh, I'm really close, 32 pack, or it's a 16, um, scholastic pack, packed, oh my goodness, pack, so I think I'm gonna wait, because if the parents are buying them, you know, Crayola, which aren't that much expensive than the Crazy Art, but I still wanna give them that brand, because that might be what their child likes, so I'm gonna wait, and I have a few more packs to go through, so if I, there's any more Crayola, they're good. But also, there's nothing wrong with Crazy Egg. I just prefer Crayola. So I think maybe I could. I don't know. I think. Also, I have kindergartners, so I was thinking, oh, we can just. First week of school, I can have them put them in there themselves. I don't think that's going to work. So, we'll see. I'm probably going to wait. And I'm not sure how my school does it. We might um, meet the teacher back, or. We call it something else. Back to school night, maybe? I don't know. That night, maybe kids will be bringing their supplies. So that day, I can, or that night, even the next day, before school starts, I can start on some of them. But I don't know how the number system is going to work. So I'll probably have to wait on that, unfortunately. Unless I find a good deal on Crayola Crowns. It's cheap. So we'll see. I found another Crayola box that had um, all brand new ones. And I was setting them out in the... That happened. Oh, so now maybe I can look through one of these and see if they have a brand new black. We'll make this work still. So as you can tell, all my projects today have been a bust. So I'm just going to take a step back and try again tomorrow or the next day or whenever I can get it together. <laughs> today is finally the day that I'm bringing all of my totes in and organizing all my junk. What I mean by junk is... Everything that's not books or like tote or bins or anything. So I'll show you. So I have these two. These. These are just bins. I think I'm going to turn that into my um, book buddy bin. I have all those like manipulatives and different things. That's not mine. This. It says pull slides, but it's mine. It's all of this. So I'm going to take everything out and organize and hopefully get it down to three or four bins instead of five. So I just wanted to show you all these um, desk tag things I bought at Dollar Tree because I didn't show them in my haul. But I think they're so cute. And what I'm going to use them for is when a student is doing really well or um, meeting expectations, I'm just going to, and we're in the middle of a lesson, I'm going to go quietly sit this on their desk and the students will know that at the end of a lesson or during um, transition, they can come up to the treasure box and get something out of it for doing well. And I think those are so cute. And I got two packs of them because I think... Four would be a good number to give. Not too many, not one or two, four is good. And I might not give them all out, and I might give them all out, I don't know, who knows, but I like that idea. Something I'm super excited for that I haven't really got to share with anyone are these recognition award cards. I have so many of these, and I didn't buy a single one. I was given them from a um, teacher at a different school than I am that is a family friend, and I'm super excited and so thankful for all these. Because I really want to um, incorporate positive um, reinforcement in my classroom. I think these would be a great way to do so. I have found so many nameplates that I was given. And this isn't even all of them. There, there, there. And there's more in here. And there's more under here. But so many that I was giving. And I'm trying to come up with creative ways I can use them. Because I want to have... One on our desk, and although I love like this one, and I also loved this one, I don't have enough to do everybody's desk. So I think I'm gonna find one that I do have enough, and then what I'm gonna do is I got the idea from this one. It's laminated, and they can actually practice writing using these as like um, number strips or 
what are these things called? Writing strips, I think that's what they're called. Here's a here's an example of what I'm talking about. Word strips, like this. So I can turn these into those, and I can turn, like, laminate these in practice writing, and they can have their ABCs and numbers. So let me know if you have any ideas of what to do with these. I'll probably end up giving a whole bunch away, but we'll see what we can work with. And these are so cute. I love these. I found the cutest little class rules bulletin board um, set of, like, poster things. And they are adorable. So cute. But I don't know if I want to use them because these aren't my exact class, class rules that I wanted to use. But they're just so cute. I don't know what to do. I might give them away, but I kind of want to keep them and use them. But, oh, I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. So, I'm making progress, but I have way too much calendar stuff. I have this pack that is just a whole set but it's smaller than I wanted and this one's big so that's what I would like but this one will fit in a pocket chart and it comes with numbers and the days of the week I have numbers to go along with this one and that's why I was just cutting up all the um, pictures that like if I can get this open like the pictures it's like no school um, Memorial Day, Martin Luther King Day, Happy Birthday, and different things like that. So I'm kind of stuck, again, always. But I think I'm going to definitely keep these because these are the ones I want to use. And I might laminate them and Velcro them so then I can just like take them on and off the board easy. And if I don't end up using these, I might, I don't know, might give it to, I have a friend that's going to be a third grade teacher at the same school. And since it's not as big, she might like that to have in her classroom just to have a calendar, but I'm not sure. And I started a pile for a giveaway of things I bought and I'm not going to use. I might put these um, things in it too. I'm just not sure yet because I know I'm not doing primary colors. But I thought this would be cute in my reading center. But I don't want to hoard things that I'm not going to use them. So I'm going to give them to someone who can use them. I have two packs of those. So I'll just put those over there and do a giveaway sometime or another but we are making progress we're going to start putting this stuff up so i have two more bins behind me to go through but we are we're getting somewhere i have a question for kindergarten teachers or even first grade i guess preschool kindergarten first do y'all still use the big books because the other day i was at the yard sale and i found like 20 for sale and they're 25 cents each so i got a whole bunch of them and i just want to know if y'all still use them because my um kindergarten class teacher so like my professor that taught us how to teach kindergarten she um still used them so i thought i'll use these somehow or another and the kids might enjoy looking through them i don't know so i went ahead and got them i just want to know if other teachers use these in their rooms i saw this thing on instagram and it was the feeding re reading program through kellogg and all you have to do is buy like one of the kellogg's items and upload your receipt a picture of your receipt on here and you get a free book. And I'm like, that's crazy and awesome. You can also donate a book to a local um, school or classroom or something, I think. I saw that on her Instagram. But I just created an account and I uploaded my first receipt. And it just takes 72, 72 hours, goodness. And they'll email me and let me know how it goes. And mom's in there searching for me more receipts. So that's exciting. and thought I'd share that with you all. And here are some of the books you can choose from. So you actually can choose the category you want. So I'm in beginning. And the A to Z mysteries. Which I probably won't get into those because I think those are too old for kindergarten. But they have so many different books. Dr. Seuss. Corduroy. Which I already have that. There's another Corduroy. Dragons. Is that the Spanish one? Yeah, that's the Spanish one. But it's Dragons Love Tacos. And if they have the English one, I would definitely be getting that. There's lots of... Um, steps to reading I think so level one so I'm gonna go through these and figure out some books that I might want through this program oh and Junie B. Jones wow that's nice this isn't a Kellogg brand deal but hey Kellogg if you want to hit your girl up I'm down to do some free promo for like some books or something <laughs> I saw your what'd you just say comments. what'd you say I said don't move your hands so much Rude. Anyway, is I oh, 
I um, just went to Home, De Home Depot and I thought I'd do a little haul of what I got. We have an audience today, as you probably heard. So, I got these um, PVC pipes. I got a set of 35 and a set of 25. And what I'm going to do with them is I'll put the picture here. I saw this on Facebook on some of one of the kindergarten groups I'm part of, I think. But she took the, um, actually, I'll open them and show you if I can open them. That scared me, but like, look. Okay, finally. So, I get two of these. Let's see if I can use, maybe that way. Yeah, that way will be better. No, just kidding. I don't guess it really matters, but like this oops <laughs> like this and they're going to use them as the little um reading phones hello and i actually have almost a class set so i got the um thank you all of them thanks okay so i got the um 35 pack and then the 25 pack so it'll make 17 um phones and then i'll have extra of these i'll have Somebody's watching me um, record right now, so I'm going to scoot over. I'll have, um, seven, no, five, six, seven, seven left? Am I doing math right? I love math, and usually I'm great at it, but apparently I can't right now. Anyway, I'll have seven of these left, seven or eight of these left, left, and I can actually, if I have more than 17 kids, which I don't know how that's going to work with, you know, all the regulations and all that, but... I can go back and just buy these individually, and I think they're like, somebody said 50 cents at Lowe's, but they were 75 cents at Home Depot. We're at Lowe's right now, but I'm not going to go in and check. So, that is what I got. So, well, let me do a cool transition, and we'll go to me actually working on them. Blake, you want to be in it? What? You want to be in my transi transition? Okay, scoot over here. Oh, we do have our mask, don't worry. I don't want to get attacked for not having a mask on. Okay. That's my mask, actually. Well, I have one, too. It's just in um, the bag. Okay, ready? Back up. Why are you all here? We'll scoot over. Okay, we're going to snap on the count of three, and then we're going to be at home working on these. One, two, three. What if I didn't actually cut it and do this right now? Psych. I lied. I'm not back home. But... We went to Target and I thought, Target and I thought I'd show y'all what I got there as well. Ready? Ready here? You gonna talk? Yeah. Whatever, we'll see when you come. And we're back home. So, first thing first, I have more stuff to show you from Target. I am about to, have, well, it'll be a right for now. I was gonna move you, but we're good for now. Okay. First thing is, I'm so excited for this pillow. It is um, Land of the Make Believe on one side and the Rainbow on the other. They didn't have the um, alphabet one, which I was kind of upset about, but I'm glad I got one of them. This was $5. Then I got just some of these um, erasers to use as counters. They're the shape ones. I thought I could also use this when teaching shapes, maybe to have them. Um, Put them in categories because I know there's multiples. So, like, all rectangles, all something. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go on. Toss that back there. I got this um, three-pack of ink pads. Um, they're $3 to so dollar each. I thought it was pretty good. My mom said she had a black one. It was, like, $15. So, I thought, well, that's perfect. I think I was given some stamps. Like, um, the, the I don't know if they're uppercase or lowercase. But some letter stamps. And I think this, I think they're stamps. I can't. They look weird, so I'll, I'll have to show you all of them, see what I'm talking about. And then I got some um, Alphabet Connect uh, puzzle pieces, so it's two pieces, and so you'll connect like the D to the dog. So, it's just like the letter and then a word that goes along with it, or that starts with that letter. And then lastly, I got these Astro Bright Day of, Days of the Week um, 
basket. So it is yesterday was, today is, tomorrow is, and then you just put like Monday, Tuesday, when yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, I think this will be good next to my calendar. And it's not that big, so three of them will be great. And they're actually really pretty. I don't know if you can even see. They got the um, holographic around. And it comes with magnets on the um, days of the week and on the actual sign. And I think that is it. So now I am going to get working on my um, phones that are made out of the PVC pipe. Oh, okay, yeah, I did not mean to record that, but I guess I'm going to start now. Um, so, now I am going to set up to start working on my, excuse, oh, it's my cat one now. Can y'all see that? Right there. Anyway, I'm going to set up my um, phones. I think I've already said this multiple times. But, the tape I'm going to use is, I have to pull this over my head. The tape I'm using is this, what did I just do with my other one? I'm losing my mind. It's from Sheen. It's like some kind of washi tape. It's all in Japanese, so I can't really read any of it. But, it's just this. It's a lot smaller than I was expecting, but I think I can layer to make it work. Ugh. If not, I'll just use um, duct tape. I might have said this in the car. I might be repeating myself. But here, let's just, let me get set up. Okay, I'm here. This is what, oh, the air. This is where I film most of my videos, just sitting here with you in my windowsill, which is dirty from all the dog and cat hair. But, I have the goods right here. So, we are gonna start out by trying one before we get carried away. Okay, that's not straight at all. Okay, that's not pretty, but I think I could, they'll hold it together until I get better. There's hair in there. Jeez. I think it will hold it together until I get better tape. So I might, let's see. Let me just, let me put the other end in before I start making this shit. This. Hello. <laughs> okay, um while I'm while we're doing this, let me tell you a little something about myself. I wish I could sing. Like I don't wish anything else except for the fact the fact. I don't wish anything else except for if I could sing or that I could sing. Like I just feel like if I could sing, I just sing 24/7, which probably is a blessing. That's why God didn't bless me with um gift to sing because he knew my mom and family would go crazy but oh I'm not showing y'all doing. but I really wish I could sing so you learned something about me now okay and here we are mm, it's, uh, it wasn't straight and I just messed up the tape I have no upper lip when I did that I'm um, cute Okay, so this tape sucks, as Lee figured out. I got the top one and the bottom tape come off. Okay, yeah, this ain't, this tape ain't it, but it works. Okay, so what I've learned today is what I bought is perfect, great, awesome, but this tape is terrible, and I should have guessed it. Like, look how small it is. I don't know what I was expecting, but good idea just not executed well so just like every other project I've done probably in the same video we'll come back to it honestly this video is probably gonna be a video of fails and then next week or whenever I get it up will be me actually succeeding at something so I hope you all enjoy watching me fail is that the right yeah okay now I don't know what I'm gonna do to have some um, pink and green duct tape. Oh well, anyway, I th guess that's the end of this video. I don't know if it's in the video or not, but I'm going to go ahead and end it here. So, thank you all for watching me fail miserably. 
I thought I heard something. If you like this video, like it and comment down below what your favorite project that I failed at was. Anyway, that is all. So, on to the next clip or on to the outro. So, I officially got the duct tape to finish off my telephone um, readers. That is so loud. What? The TV. Okay. Anyway, so let's go. Let's let's go. So I got blue and pink just because easiest two colors to do. Yeah. She shut the door in my face. Okay. BRB, gotta get better scissors. Okay. Now, I really just want to get one done on camera so I can show y'all that I actually done this and I didn't give up like every other project. One project not be a fail. That is right in front of my face, too. Probably be easier, honestly, just to rip this. Look how easy that was. Come here, try. One half done. Say hi. Hi, Charlie. Okay. Next half. Oh, wow. Well, can't see me. I'm not cut out for this homemade stuff. Honestly, good enough. That right there is gonna bother me and that right there is gonna bother me, but it works. Yeah, good enough. So I'm going to do the rest of them and I'll show you the final result. An hour later and I finally finished them. Here's most of them and I stuck the ones I didn't fit in the bag until I find where I want to store them. But that took forever and I couldn't tell you if it's worth saving money. It is, but you better set aside a long time to work on it. And me and Sassy are back. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. It was really fun to film just to show you all what um, I'm doing this summer to get ready for the school year and I'm so excited to get my classroom and so don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. Say bye sass. She is mad at me. 
editing tips pop again to say thank you all for 70 subscribers i know that is a tiny bit for for slow down goodness gracious but for one video that is really exciting and they got like it's at 500 views right now which is crazy like i'm not that funny i well i think i'm funny but i don't think other people think i'm funny anyway i found a bunch of things that i have bought multiples of or bought and i'm probably not going to use so i might put them together and do a giveaway i have no idea comment below if i should i think that'd be fun and maybe include on my instagram so follow my instagram and it is teacher tish it'll be linked below to get updates on that yeah thank you all and i forgot to add i'm also doing this fun thing that i posted or i saw on facebook and i reposted it and it is a i'll insert the post here but it's just asking for um your guys's favorite bible verse and if you're not a christian it's understandable i know we're not all gonna have the same beliefs and that's life but if you are i'd love to hear your favorite bible verses or hear them i mean read them <laughs> i'd love to see them all so leave them down below and i'm going to be actually writing them hold on i'll show you where one right here so like i have the lines and i have this empty space and i thought that is perfect i'm gonna write the bible verse there and then your name and then on that day i'll kind of read and be praying for the person and i've actually included some of my own right now i'm doing one a week because i don't have a lot of comments and then i'll go through and adam and you can even tell me a specific day you'd like so like your birthday or a significant date to you so yeah, comment something below and I will include it in my planner. We have, is, it... is anyone else on TikTok and saw that glitch the other day? Anyone else think it was going down? Maybe just me. It's going down for real. Was the music in the background the whole time? I'm not redoing it. 